the mining and executive chairman Milan Djokovic are different to the other presenters we've heard from today because they actually produce stuff which in an exploration bull market might in fact be a handicap. Um, Milan is a well-known Australian turnaround specialist. He's a geologist, a miner, an entrepreneur. Uh, he's been renovating serious mining assets in Australia for over 30 years and the Maluna, Maluna gold mine is no exception. We look forward to hearing from Milan if Maluna's best days are behind it or in fact, if this grand old lady of the Australian gold industry still has its best days ahead. So, I mean, it's been a very good discussion today and uh, clearly um, Waluna is uh, uh, a very interesting topic in that it's already one of the great all bodies, um, the Luna Mining Centre itself. Um, so my reason for being here is that, uh, you know, elephants are found in elephant country and, uh, you know, deep waters float big boats. So you need to start with something that's got scale. Um, Luna's already got about 7 million ounces drilled um, and 4 million ounces mined, uh, about 10 million ounces in the... Um, in the, in, the, in the area that I'll be initially talking about. But before I uh, move on to this slide, just to put the context around um, where we are, the, we're at the northern end of the gold fields, uh, the largest gold field in the world, essentially. Um, we have 1,600 kilometers ground. We have also turned to technology and structural geology, but also um, geophysics, which I'll talk about, uh, we have the extensions of the very prolific nickel belt in our ground, about 80 kilometers of it, uh, all the Hummingway well type structures, which we're doing work on now. We have four mining center scale geological systems. I'll today only talk about Waluna itself, which is a five by five kilometer, kilometer system, as we know. Um, it, it, we are already producing gold up there, we're producing. Uh, Modestly, we're in the process of adding another processing solution to deal with the refractory ore. Uh, we're actually 30% uh, having constructed a mine and a processing solution for the material that we're defining. The asset, since we restructured the company, has been financed by deep money. Uh, we just raised another 93 million of equity and debt. Uh, the equity uh, is in, in the debt will be finalized the next couple of weeks, which gives us a strong balance sheet to keep drilling with what has been six to eight rigs for the, that's been going on for more than 12 months. Uh, we will continue at that rate for the foreseeable future, probably three years, we believe uh, at this stage. We're currently drilling with three rigs underground in this area of the mine. This is about three, four kilometers strike length. Um, we, the, the Waluna deposit having been around for a long time, has only really been drilled partially to about an average depth of 600 meters. Interestingly enough, if you look at some of these recent results, this is only a sample in some of the gaps uh, between what's been mined, we're getting stunning results in new shoots that are start from the surface in areas that were just not considered to be uh, worth drilling. Um, we're also looking at now major extensions to the south, uh, new parallel shoots in here, which we'll have a lot more to say about because there's been a mined area here, but there's actually new areas in here that we're drilling at the moment um, and, and parallel structures, which will come, come through. The, the uh, current modest target that we've set the company to add is about five to seven million ounces with the drilling we're doing over the next three years. And that is at a higher grade than the average. The current average high grade inventory here is about uh, 4.9 grams, 4.3 million ounces. Um, and we are on, on target to deliver about 120,000 ounces of production in the middle of next year from that, with a view of doubling that over the following 18 months while we're trying to understand the scale of this thing. What gives us an edge, and I believe we are the best value exploration company in Australia at the moment, given the answers we've got drilled and what we have in front of us, 
uh, at 160 million market cap is that we've got all the approvals in place. We actually have got the processing solutions and we'll be uh, producing a significant cash flow to back up the rate of drilling required. And I concur with everything everybody else has said, you need to take risk, but you take that risk on a calculated basis when you know you've got a plumbing system that in fact will produce the results. And our target of 5 million ounces to 7 million ounces at five to seven grams is very conservative because any new areas that we're drilling should in fact be six to eight grams because the average grade of previously mined areas um, where we uh, were six to eight grams. Uh, and, and we are getting in new areas that we're drilling, certainly intersections that suggests and widths that suggest that the new shoots that we drill will give us the grade that we're looking for to increase the grade at Waluna. Um, the, the, the production uh, that we're, we're talking about is going to be modest and scaled uh, in a way where the current capital structure of the company and the supporting cash flow can actually let the market go with us because we clearly uh, don't want to be uh, overstretching our capacity to deliver the results going forward, having you know, had to deal with a restructuring and a recapitalization of the company over the last 18 months. Uh, we definitely agree with the people side. We've had to put some good, very good people in place, which we have, good geologists, good mining engineers, good metallurgists. The geo-metallurgy of Luna is also very important in terms of processing solutions uh, because we will have both gravity, CIP gold, Doray on site and, and cost trades being sold as we expand this asset. In terms of uh, the real exciting stuff, even beyond the current, that slide I just showed you is Waluna here. It only goes down to average 600 meters. We just recently done some 3D seismic work, sorry, 2D seismic work, which isn't good enough for, uh, and seismic work is basically shock waves you, you put into the ground and you match your structural geological understanding with some, with some interpretation, and then you 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 basically map the, the gold bearing uh, feeder structures that are in the right geology. Uh, the exciting thing about this, this is only 3D, so it's probably not good enough for targeting drilling yet. Uh, we will be looking at a, uh, a 3D survey, which will go down to about one and a half kilometers. Uh, that's that's much deeper at the moment uh, to be able to actually target extensions of this main structure and parallel structures that we have and cross structures. But this is the exciting thing that came out of this survey. We actually have Waluna lookalikes uh, in the right geology, in the right location, only 2K south of where we are currently mining, where historically there's already 10 million ounces in that system and only partially drilled. So we're looking at multiple parallel Waluna feeder structures that we're gonna explore. Clearly we'll finish the job on this one and get the right sizing of the project done there, but then our, our exploration target will expand uh, beyond that five to seven million ounces in here over the next three years. So um, the, the, main, uh, the main story about Waluna that is different to some great discoveries that we talk about and, and, and uh, you know, with uh, the Gray and, uh, and Tim Goido, and, you know, we've all been overnight successes of being around for a long time uh, and having the right opportunity is that we we are actually able to commercialize our results in our view far faster than than our peers, but we also have supporting cash flow to allow us to stay the course and 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 really explore this potential fully over the next three years. And we're really looking forward to where this takes us. Uh, I've decided to put my own money and obviously bring other money in with us on this journey. It's been very supportive and I trust that uh, we'll be, uh, as our results keep coming through, as our production increases, people will start to take notice of what it was once a great gold field. will once again uh, uh, put it back on the map where it belongs. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm just going to take one question here before we move on to our next presenter. It comes from James Starr. Uh, James asks, historically, at least recently, this, and I think by this he means Waluna, has been an unsuccessful venture. Why is it that 
you think the market has yet to buy the story. What would success mean to you? And the last part of his question is, why does your board have so little to zero equity purchase compared to you in Maluna? So three questions. Why hasn't the market got it yet? What would success mean to you? And why doesn't your board own any shares just as you do? I mean, the market, I think, is starting to get it, but we're starting off a low base. Uh, clearly, we had some operational issues as we were fixing the company. Uh, we also, up until recently, didn't have the full funding solution to just run at the pace we need to. We have that in place now. Uh, success, to me, is going to be getting, the, as Ed and others have been talking about, getting the right dollar per ounce and dollar per production ounce, uh, the right as in the market rate for our valuations which is a single, significant gap between where we are today. And that's a journey over the next two years that we will hope to take and, and improve from here. Why doesn't the other rest of the board have any more? They were appointed as non-executive directors, came in uh, as, as that. Uh, I've, I've had to actually uh, put my money in to take you know, other shelters with me. And I, I went in here with a view that uh, this is a great geological system that I'd like to stay with and, and, and fix. Uh, so I, I can't really answer your question other than there's many boards out there that don't have equity when they're not executive directors in the company. Both executive directors in, 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 in Waluna have, have equity in the company. What was the third question, Simon? Uh, I think you answered it, Milan. Uh, why hasn't the market got it yet? Um, why doesn't the rest of your board any equity? And how would you define success? Well, well, success is all about shareholder returns, whether it's dividends or, or, or uh, share price. So from here, we have to take uh, take the market with us, having, I think, done what's needed to be done to represent the George in the right way, uh, keep keep producing good results and, and, and getting people to go with us. And do the